Welcome back to the channel guys. Chris Ackland here from Iron Tribe Weightlifting down in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, today's video I'm going to run you guys through how I do my food prep and the three kind of strategies I use to make it much easier for myself. Um, I'll spread these strategies out throughout the video so you can kind of see what I'm doing as I'm kind of doing it. Uh, and let's get stuck straight into it. Let's see how long it kind of takes me to do this. I'm predicting around 45 minutes. So let's put the start watch on now. Directions. Bring the, bring the boil one large saucepan of salted water. Tip contents into water, stir gently with a wooden spoon until a pasta separates. Cook for six to eight minutes. <laughs> Set salt of water. Salt of water. I'll suck the onion just because I love salt so much. Oh my god. Strategy number one, uh, I, I always like to listen to audiobooks, uh, podcasts, or I like to watch like a YouTube video or something like that. Um, I find it much more engaging. Uh, I can do a ton of housework and, and like things that I find quite mundane while I'm listening to it. Um, but while I'm listening to audiobooks, podcasts, things like that, uh, I don't know what it is. My brain just can't do those things or doesn't want to do those things. So it looks for any excuse not to do them. Uh, but if I'm in a like upbeat kind of way, having something like that in the background keeps me kind of motivated and keeps me kind of, keeps the ball kind of rolling. Get into that flow state that some people talk about. So keep in mind, I am in no way a chef. I've got no idea. I'm probably breaking all the rules. If you are a chef, please comment below as to how bad I'm doing or what. Give me some tips as to that I can pass them on to some people. Um, this is just what I do. So I haven't started my breakfast yet just because I don't want it to be sitting there warm waiting for me. Uh, but we're getting closer and closer. Once I put this beef on, I'm going to look up the recipe on how to do um, shredded chicken, which I've done a bu bunch of times before. I just keep forgetting. Ooh. Strategy number two uh, to help me with my food prep is I'll try to do it while I'm cooking another meal. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm cooking breakfast, and this breakfast is only really 10 minutes. It was hard boiled eggs and toast. Um, but I normally have, like, uh, what you'll see is I have my sausages with it, which I'd cooked on another day. And had I have done that, the sausages could have taken, you know, 20, 25 minutes. So. I could have started all the other meals and then towards the last half an hour kind of finished off breakfast and then I would be left with two meals and a breakfast. And it's just got even more interesting, the little one is waking up. She's just staring, so I figure let's try to, I might bring a bassinet in here and try not to do it one arm because that would just be irresponsible parenting. But I need to get my foods cooked. No bassinet just outside the kitchen. But I think she's gonna wake up pretty soon. Look how stern that face looks. So, and strategy number three, guys. Strategy number three is I try to do two separate meals at the same time. Uh, I roughly do about four or five of those. I cook roughly a kilo of meat at a time. Uh, for me, if it's chicken breast, I'm probably having 200 grams of uncooked chicken breast per meal. Um, and that just kind of makes it easier for like uh, future meals. Uh, if you cook about four or five meals worth, um, for me, I probably would push it out to four days, maybe five days if I was being real cheeky once it's been in the fridge. Um, but, uh, you could freeze it as well. Uh, put all these in like Tupperware containers so they could be frozen. Awesome guys, so uh, that is it from me. Um, did I break any chicken slash kitchen slash faux pas rules? Uh, let me know below. Uh, if you've got tips, let me know. What do you like food prepping? Um, I did two meals that I don't normally do. Uh, I did them because my nutrition coach uh, and I have been trying to work on introducing different meals because typically all I would eat is chicken and rice um, and we're trying to mix it up a little bit. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.